back to my channel my name is Jermaine if you're new here welcome and if you're returning what's up okay so listen this is gonna be a get ready with me um I need to do my hair I need to do my makeup I'm talking a little bit low because it is 5 40 in the morning I'm at my mommy's house we'll start with skincare so first is the Laneige vitamin C spray well, I guess it's a serum, but I put it in a little spray bottle for traveling. I wash my face with Fenty Skin. It was one of those like soft cleanser days for me, so and that's the only one I had in my bag, which is perfect. So I just press that in. Mm -hmm. And then I like to go in with the Inky List 15% vitamin C as well. I don't know if I'm doing too much. I'm not a licensed esthetician, okay, but it's been working. And it's been making my skin look very, very even when I actually use it. <laughs> when I actually use it. Now that's that's the kicker right there. And then for all my Flizzy watchers, y'all already know. I dropped this camera. So if it's acting funny, I'm sorry. But literally fell from the corner of the counter when I was putting on lotion. I was like, um, scar cream from Target. I use that on my mark. Usually I just um, mix it with my moisturizer, but we'll do it at a step today. Really just around here, a little bit on my forehead, but mostly where all the marks are. Mm -hmm. And then I bought this little set because I needed some more moisturizer but it actually came in a little set so this is glow recipes plum plum Hy hyaluronic serum and then this is the hyaluronic cream at who yes so it comes in a little set in the mini um please the mini section uh this one doesn't have a scent which is nice to me maybe this one doesn't either let me see maybe it has a little bit of a scent but nothing too crazy I don't know if I'm doing it in order, but I don't really don't have the time to be looking it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have it saved in my phone. Eye cream, caffeine eye cream from the Inky Lid. Come on, baby. Yes. Caffeine. <laughs> caffeine eye cream. They said it's good to put this day as in the Inky List. <laughs> said it's good to have it in the fridge. The day I get a skincare fridge, gonna change my life forever. I tell you that much. I just put that under. I do like this one. I like Sephora's as well. This is the consistency of that dewy, that hyaluronic cream. So, nice. Get that neck. <laughs> Get that neck, oh boy. Okay, so I like to do my skincare first and then my hair. I've learned that I let my skincare sink in. Y'all, this is my toiletry bag. I think I need to run downstairs and get my other battery. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. Girl, let's see what this hair is giving today. Cause I washed it yesterday. I kind of let it air dry in a ponytail and then I put it up cause I was like, it's getting on my nerves. Okay. I don't know, I was feeling a high bun again, but that don't be giving me a headache. We have to do my old faithful, old faithful. actually in Atlanta so I have to go to New York and then go to work <laughs> so I think I have a yeah a Dallas turn today which should be super easy I like the plane that we're on so oh if you're new here I'm sorry I have a flight today <laughs> hi um so yeah I've got a flight in New York and then I fly to Dallas and I should be done by midnight <laughs> I haven't traveled on the day that I'm working in so long. I'm a little bit anxious, but I feel like once I get on the plane and sit down, I'll be fine and take off. <laughs> and I'm landing like two hours before my report, so hopefully I'll be okay. <sighs> not gonna complain, not gonna complain. 
yeah, I can't have my hair up like that for too long because it starts to give me a really bad headache. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I need to wawa. Okay, mostly in the back. Oh, girl, girl. Okay, water in my brush. Don't pull this thing back, baby. Okay, so I take a big one, wrap it around twice, like so. Thought I heard somebody. <laughs> anyway, wrap it around and then I usually do three times if I can make it, and I did. <sighs> okay, so then I go in with the Eco Gel, y'all. Blizzy watchers know. This is my part right here. This is my therapy, okay? Put a little bit of eco gel. Okay. Not too much though. Just enough to lay it down again. Oh, and I got this from Ulta. And I just keep refilling it because it's so thin. Perfect to travel with. And I brush the gel in first. Fixer. Okay. By Kiss. Pineapple. Duh. Put it on the edge. I feel like when I'm in my 70s, I'm still gonna be slicking my edges. I don't know. I feel like it's a lifetime. It's a lifetime kind of thing. Edge brush from Cantu. I use the comb side. And just Doopity doop doop. Sometimes there's like that random piece and then I would use the brush side just to get it. And it looks like that piece might go on us. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So I just comb it down to how I want them. It's kind of giving big swoop day. So let's give them the big swoop. Law and Order of SVU at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> My family. I heard a ding 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 Make sure we slide that in there, bro. And the reason why I like to do my bun last is because my bun will pull all the lumps and stuff if I have any, pull it tighter. So, yeah. And the last one. Yep. Yeah. That's what they get today, sweetie. Okay, so then usually I just pull it in two. And because my hair is so poofy today, I'm gonna twist it to make it look neat. Okay, and then pull it over and tuck it into the hair thing if I can manage to. Because it's tight. So I just pull and have that hold usually I would put a bobby pin but I got two bobby pins to work with so we have to use them wisely okay and then take this one do the same thing and then just twist that over like that and then I have a smaller hair tie like a regular size one And then I find the lumpiest part of my head. <laughs> and stick it in there. Okay, time for makeup. Oh, and just a disclaimer. For the Lily watchers and for somebody who's just watching this, when I say girl, I mean all y'all. It's just a habit. 
so I apologize but I definitely mean like everybody anybody who's watching and everybody and anybody is welcome to watch okay I had somebody be like you know you say girls a lot so I don't know if I'm in women's if I'm in women's business first of all sir very wholesome very whole if you're watching very wholesome okay thank you for asking but you are invited to watch please and let me just take this time please like the video if you like the video <laughs> it's right there right there or like over there it's one of them buttons please please thank you so I have been in love with Trader Joe's sunscreen I just wish it came in a bigger bottle. It's literally clear. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Okay. Get you some. Trader Joe's. No, they knew what they were doing. This smells like like sunscreen, like traditional sunscreen. I don't know why, but I like that smell. It makes me feel like I'm at the beach. Okay, so I found these palettes at Sephora. I thought they'd be really cute for work um, because I'm so tired of carrying around my actual my actual. Um, like long what is it <laughs> the long eye palette it's just too much so i got those small ones i'm gonna use elf primer power grip primer it's actually really good i like it a lot okay so elf hydrating camel concealer the satin finish and deep olive is the tone i mean the color that i wear definitely learned with doing my makeup less is just so much more and I know y'all been telling people that y'all as in the makeup girls y'all been telling people that for a very very long time <laughs> have I been listening no <laughs> I have not but I have learned okay okay all right, so I'm gonna let that set in my face for a little bit and I will do my eyeshadow. So, makes it to put some on my eyes. So I got sun shadows. I got the warm dusk, dark orange tones and the first lights, neutral cold tones. I saw colors in there that go with each other. So I'm just gonna try both. So it slides out like this. It comes in a little Thing. Aren't these so pretty? Oh. And you just pull it back and slide out. And it says start by cutting my band. Push the holes behind the grid to remove my pans. Give me another life by recycling me. Oh, you can recycle. So then you just push these little things off to get all the colors off. Cut this off and then you can recycle it. Which, oh, that's nice. I like the way they did that. Only thing I do wish is that it had a mirror is my only concern but i guess it wouldn't have been recyclable are mirrors recyclable okay so I'll let that set to my eyebrows real quick i did pluck them a little bit yesterday so it shouldn't take too too long so y'all know how i feel we all don't know if this is your first video but i feel very strongly about my eyebrows i'm gonna be playing because uh, eyebrows really make your face like really really <laughs> yeah don't do much because you can definitely get carried away and a lot of times one eyebrow be darker than the other pisses me off pisses me off every time let's use this color to start let's see how we feel See, I'm gonna use the same brush I use for my concealer. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Cause I want my makeup to be like natural but glowy. And I already kind of have like those little things in the corner of my eye. So I'm gonna put a little shunting shunting there. Okay, yeah, that's really pretty. It's so natural looking. I like that. Okay, so there's this peachy color. I think I'm gonna do that by my brow. Okay, how we looky? Natural, me likey. So you see this little iridescent looking color? I think I wanna do a little bit of that in my eye. Like the little, I don't know what that's called, 
a little tear duct. So let's do that. Oh, that is so pretty. Use a smidgen of this one on my brow bone. Just to complement that brown. Yeah, this is very pigmented, like you do not need a lot. All right, and then I think I want a little bit of a darker color on my, like this part. So I'm going to use this one and use that just a little, just to kind of bring it back, you know what I'm saying? Bring it back in there, tie it all together. 615 making good time because we gotta leave by 6 30. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my finger just a little bit just to blend that corner piece. Take my face brush. Hello. Hi. You wanna be in my get ready with me? You wanna be in my get ready with me? Here's my mommy. Good morning. <laughs> I'm almost done. I made good time. You're cute. Thank you. And then I'm going to use this under my eye. And I have fallen in love. I know that I'm so late to the game. But I have fallen in love with um, Laura Mercier. Yeah. This powder is bomb. Y'all, y'all girls be knowing a little something. You know what I'm saying? The girls are educated. <laughs> y'all are educated for real. All right. So there's that. I'm gonna leave that open because I'm actually gonna use it. Um, not my forehead being a different color. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm gonna do something about that. I feel like this concealer is just so bomb. I don't know. I kind of use that as a foundation too. I did find this tinted moisturizer from Sephora, but it just doesn't. I mean, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not supposed to use it like a foundation. I'm supposed to use it like more like a actual moisturizer. But like, I don't know. It did it for me like the first week, and now I'm kind of like, it doesn't sit on my face properly. It makes my face look very, very weird. So I gotta find a new foundation. Okay, but I do love this e.l.f. palette, the, the blush palette oh, in the color light. So pretty, got it from Target. So, please, I don't wanna talk about it, I really don't. Oil control makeup setting spray from Urban Decay. I was using Charlotte Tilbury, but they didn't have it in stock when I went back to get another one. So, um, I used the regular all-nighter spray and I loved it. Urban Decay. For what? For, for what? Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with blush. So I like to use both of these at the top. These two have shimmer in it, so mm, sometimes I'll use this as a highlighter. The peachy, I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but yeah, it's like shimmering. So um, I like this one because it matches my skin tone a little bit and it's subtle. It's nothing that's so crazy, you know what I'm saying? But it's there and you can see it. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It really ties the face together. And I learned to just dab it in there instead of wiping because it'll literally wipe off all the blending I did with my concealer. Learning the hard way, child. Okay, yeah, this gives me a little bit of a bronze look. Okay, <laughs> back, we're back. So um, yeah, it gives me a little bit of a bronze look, which I really like that. I'm not gonna do any contour or anything, cause number one, I don't be doing what I'm doing half the time. Okay, and I ain't got time to mess up nothing. I really don't. Okay, and then the peachy one, I do a little bit on the actual here and then some on my nose 
just a little. Okay. And blindy, blindy. All right, I'm done with that. Next is mascara. Yeah. Let me do this really quick and I'll get back with y'all in a second. Okay, mascara is done and I use NK from the beauty supply store. <laughs> Literally the best mascara I've ever had in my life. Can't really say too much because I haven't tried much else because I've always had that one. Okay, so we're gonna spray one more time. And then I like this bronzer by Ruby Kisses. I think I just got it from the beauty supply store, y'all, to be quite honest, but it's so pretty. Um, I use it more of a, as a highlighter. Um, I just use the same brush that I use for my foundation just as a little bit of a highlight mm -hmm. and that's a really it that's it last but not least I love the flappy brush then I go in with the powder translucent honey and I just put I know this looks a mess I know it does but I just pat it in like that usually not on my eye <laughs> pat it in like that so I dip it and then I tap it down to get all the excess excess off my forehead because I get very very oily on my forehead in a little bit here and here Press the and boom we have action that's it okay for lips I actually think my lipstick is downstairs okay so for lips number one chapstick okay cocoa butter from the beauty supply store a little bit on mm -hmm. and then i like la colors matte lipstick in the color bewitched i am not a bright red girl it brings out my mustache i'm sorry i can't <laughs> just being real with y'all and lately i've been liking for my lips to look like they have a little tint because my top lip is already brown so it's, I just think it's so pretty when it's just a little tint, you know, nothing too much. And then sometimes I'll go in with NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the color Cold Brew, which is like really brown. And I'll do a little bit more. Just a little. And that is the Get Ready With Me. <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update mid work. I'm in between flights. Um, it definitely oxidized a little bit, which is fine. However, that setting spray that I used was not the same Urban Decay setting, sprays I, setting spray I used the first time. So the first time was just a regular all-nighter spray. This one is oil control. However, I have been having to blot my face all day. So I don't know what oil it was trying to control, but like, I don't know. But I would give the face an 8 out of 10. Makeup, not my face, I'm cute. <laughs> but the makeup, um, the eyeshadow palettes are just really pretty, I really like this. Just wanna give you guys an update, halfway through, I got one more flight to go, and um, I'll be done, so. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real.